More local news tonight, a house fire happening in Butchell tonight. The call came in at 4.30 this afternoon on Beargrass Avenue. That's just off Bardstown Road. Two women were inside that house. One of them is in critical condition tonight. One woman was saved by a former Shelby County volunteer firefighter who lives right down the street. WHS 1119's Taylor Woods and photojournalist Aspen Hester were on the scene talking to that hero. Taylor? Doug, neighbors say everyone looks out for one another on this street, but today it was hard for them to see flames overtake their neighbor's home. One of them sprung into action, putting fire gear on to save a woman's life. You can see after the intense blaze, the front door of this Buschel home is destroyed by flames. Those flames also coming out the front and right into the roof line. Neighbors saw the billowing smoke and jumped into action. A mother and daughter were still inside the burning home. We heard her talking, so I busted out the AC unit and then helped her get out the window and busted out the rest of the windows. One of the rescuers, a hero living just a few houses down, Jacoby Barnes, went inside the burning home and was able to save one woman. She was not hurt, but the other woman was seriously hurt. Barnes is a former Shelby County volunteer firefighter who hasn't worked a fire in over three years, but Friday afternoon he dusted off his gear and boots. We grabbed it out the house because we got to take it home and I volunteered. And I just put it on and knew what to do from there. Barnes and his mother Connie were coming home when they saw the fire. I think another neighbor was calling while we was knocking and banging and trying to get the person out. Fern Creek, Louisville, Jefferson Town, and Oklahoma Fire Departments all assisted with the fire, putting it out in 30 minutes. It's still under investigation, but uh, obviously, uh, and I don't want to point uh, to any particular direction, but when it gets cold like this, space heaters are oftentimes. Uh, a, uh, a cause of fire. A significant amount of fire, smoke and water damage are now left inside. And as for Barnes, it has him heading back to the fire department. Definitely, definitely going back. He and his mother are just praying their neighbor has a full recovery. It didn't matter if I knew him or not. It's a life you're trying to save. And at this time, it's not clear what caused the fire, but Louisville's Fire Department's arson unit is investigating. In studio, Taylor Woods, WHAS 11 night team on your side.